Interior. Abandoned warehouse. Night. The warehouse is dimly lit, filled with the remnants of a long-forgotten Gotham. Broken machinery, rusted tools, and shadows that seem to dance with the wind. We hear the slow, deliberate footsteps of Batman as he enters the space, his silhouette barely visible in the darkness. A low hum of machinery echoes, followed by the clatter of metal. Batman stops, his eyes narrowing. Show yourself. The humming grows louder. From the shadows, a figure emerges. A man, unassuming at first, dressed in a tattered, stained trench coat. His face is half covered by a gas mask. The eyes behind it, cold and calculating. This is Condiment King. His hands are concealed within his coat, fidgeting with something unseen. You know, Batman, they say taste is the last sense to go. Batman steps closer, the tension palpable. Gondamit King, you're out of your depth. This isn't your fight. Condiment King chuckles, the sound <laughs> distorted through his mask. He slowly pulls out a device from his coat, a small cylindrical object with a nozzle at the end. Gotham, a city of such rich flavor, but the aftertaste, that's what people forget. The bitterness that lingers. Batman's eyes flick to the device, his stance tensing. What's in the bottle? Condiment King tilts his head, almost in amusement. A little something I've been working on. A concoction, if you will. Every crime, every sin, reduced to its base elements and bottled. He steps closer to Batman, the tension escalating. You, of all people, should appreciate the irony of Batman. You've been fighting the same battle, recycling the same villains, but you never changed the recipe. Batman's eyes narrow further, his voice a low growl. You're a joke, Condiment King. Condiment King suddenly steps closer, his demeanor shifting to something more maniac, more dangerous. You think I'm a joke? This city laughs at me, Batman. But I found the recipe to make them choke on their own filth. A tense silence fills the room. The hum of machinery grows louder, more menacing. Condiment King raises the bottle slightly, his eyes locked onto Batman's. You're not ready for what comes next, but you will be. Batman takes a step back, his eyes fixed on the Condiment King, who slowly retreats into the shadows, his figure fading into the darkness. The camera lingers on Batman, his face a mixture of suspicion and concern. He clenches his fists, a faint sound of leather creaking as he watches Condiment King disappear into the void. We'll see about that. The camera pulls back, revealing Batman alone in the warehouse, the only light coming from the dim streetlights outside. The hum of the machinery fades as the scene cuts to black. Fade out and scene.